Hi, and welcome to part three of Hesitation Blues, my lesson for the Gary Davis song, Reverend Gary Davis. Part three, we're going to pick up where we left off, getting into the third verse of the song. A little different. Most of the verses revolve around the signature lick, the... But twice in the song, at least the version I'm showing you, he does kind of a, a solo, a break, using a C chord and this chord here. So I'm going to show you this real quick. The first part goes like this. All you're doing is you're taking the C chord, it's just a bar chord, you can use your first finger on the 5th fret and sliding from the 4th fret to the 5th fret. The way I play it with my right hand is I use the thumb coming down to give it that heavier sound. I stroke it up with the index finger and then down with the thumb. And I kind of choke, choke it off. Like that. Then he goes down to this chord, which is a, like a diminished chord. I don't know what chord it is. I'm not very good with chords and notes and all that stuff. I play by ear completely. Down here, got your pinky on the eighth fret of the first string. That's where it anchors, and I've got my first finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string. Got my second finger on seventh fret of the second string. And then I've got my ring finger on the eighth fret of the third string. And all together, I got that. So the solo lick starts out. I'm doing the same thing, I'm pinching. Pinching the fourth string and the second string, and I'm strumming up with my index finger and down with my thumb. Whoops. You can do it different ways. Listen to the record, he does it differently about every time. Does that twice. Then he goes back to the C scale and goes up to a C chord. So that's two. Two picks on the eighth fret of the first string. Then to the fifth fret. Third fret. Open first string. And then you're heading the first fret of the second string, second fret of the third string. And he goes to the bass notes. Whoops, I have to do it again. Whoops. So he's hitting the first fret of the fourth string. Open, fourth string. Third fret of the fifth string. First fret of the third string. So let's take it from there. Up. Open 5th string, 3rd fret of the 6th string, and then into the F chord, which I'll show you in a second. Let's do the whole thing together. Right there. One more time. to the F chord. So he's hitting the F, F note on the 6th string. And he just plays that for, for, for a short time. So let's do that again. and then he does what's probably the trickiest part of the song. He does this little run. I'm going to show this to you first and then work it into the song. Out of the C chord. So I'm going 
third fret, first fret on the first string. I'm going to the fourth fret of the second string, that little bend. Open. So it's open first string, first fret of the sec second string, second fret of the third string. Again, he does that a lot throughout his stuff. And he hits this open. Open third string. So that lick, that's one you want to practice. You want to be able to do that four string with your pinky. It's really important that you learn to do that. Use your pinky as much as you can because that makes it a lot easier. So here's the whole thing from the end of the, of the last part. So right there. One more time. So now he's doing a little run. Second fret of the fourth string, third fret of the fourth string, open, third string. And he goes back into that same riff. This time he stops on the first, second, first fret of the second string, and he goes, walks back up the other way. So that's open. So coming up, he went like this. Now he's going back down. Let me play it up to there for you. And he plays the C chord with the pinky on the third string. again. Then he walks on the bass here. That's the fourth, fourth string, second fret, first string open. Another bass run. And that's the end of the third verse. Let me go back and play that slowly all the way through. Let me do the, just that last part. So it's open. Second fret of the fourth string. First fret, open. And that lick. And a little bass run. Third fret of the fifth string. Open fourth string. First fret of the fourth string. of the sixth string, open A string, back to the C note on the third fret of the fifth string. Let me do that again. And there you go. That's the third part of the song. Let me play it all the way through for you one more time, slowly. Now 
will see where we're at on time and we'll go to part four.